Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to put your tabs into groups on computer. This video is for Chrome users only and I found it through the recent updates. It came out about March or May and if you're like me you probably have a lot of tabs open in your browser. What we're looking at is this article and I like to point out if you hold command or control on your keyboard and click a link it opens up in the new tab. You'll see it right up here and the part of the uh, article that we're looking at here today is this group your tabs. Now already you can see my tabs of support articles are piling up. When we right click on the tab choose add tab to new group. Now we'll just give this group a name and we can assign it a color so that it sticks out from the rest. Once you're done, push enter on your keyboard. These groups really aren't permanent, but there's a few handy features that we can do once tabs are organized into groups. We can open up a new tab group, ungroup the tab, close the group, or move the group to a new window. If you're looking for a more permanent situation, look for my video on creating Google Chrome bookmarks and organizing them into folders. And in that way you can right click on a folder and open up a set of links in a new tab. Now you can see this blue ribbon follow my tab and I can drag other tabs into the color to it bring it part of the group. Now let's do this again on the second set of tabs. I'll right click, select add to group and choose new group. Here I'll type in Google and give it a color, push enter on my keyboard and I can drag that ribbon in. But another way of adding a tab into your group is by right clicking on it and choosing add tab to group and choosing Google or whatever your group name is. Now you can see I can click on the group names to collapse them and I can move them around. Notice that when you close the browser they do reopen the group tabs until they're closed. So it's not a permanent situation but it really helps to identify the tabs that you're working with on a daily basis and maybe you'll come up with a color code of the type of tabs that you're using. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you think somebody else might find this helpful, be sure to send it to them and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.